What's up everyone, it's me Hakuna back for y'all with a new Inazuma 11 Ghost Strikers video on my channel today we're continuing the Ragnarok Go Strikers Tournament number 5 and our opponent for today is the person who knocked us out of the last God Impact Tournament Kaki no Kaki since I was really having difficulties getting used to the timing for the dashes and everything. Today I'm, I do have a different team than usual. I don't have my usual no mesh team. But yeah, you'll see that yourself very much. On to Kaki, and in we go into the match. He's bringing up Raymond One, Goenji, and Minamisawa. We're countering with Kanon and Goenji. He's using Shinjami as a middle chainer once again, which is pretty effective, but I don't like chain shots that don't knock over people. And he's starting with the Raymond. Tenma Arthur Mixmax. That's interesting. Just waits out some time. Takes some time off the clock. And we get to Kazumaru. Does one dribbling here, hitting Torbu. Maybe he was trying to get some Mixmax off Saru, but even if he did, that did not work. Oh, and he's just going his Minamisawa's charge, and he's just going for a chain right away. Which might be pretty dangerous here. And Minamisawa does reach it. But we can't save that with 16 of RNG. Luckily, Minamisawa is not that strong of a chainer. So let's just hope we get enough RNG to stop him here. We get 3 RNG. So that's the 1 0 for Kaki already. That's not exactly what I'd call a good start. Minamisawa scoring the 1 0. We're just gonna counter right back. We have the Gamma versus Gamma matchup at the top. We'll just mix Max or Gamma first. As Gunji initiates, we pass with Gamma. I'm not very much used to playing chains, so there's still a lot of things that I can and have to get better at if I do use it. For example, like being calmer, not. and like actually shooting and not just walking around dashing. And I try to push with Sakuma here, but his Torb is in place to initiate against Sakuma and get the ball. That might give him another chance here. We on Charger Trainers. He, mix he dribbles with Gamma. He's probably gonna mix to max soon. It's all the way back to Tayo and Gamma. Mix max and Gamma now. Over to Kazumaru. He's just passing around. We're kind of just waiting for him to make a mistake like he did there. Cannon is still charged, we're just going for a tier. I was kind of scared of his cousin mother there, thinking that Cannon might have uncharged. Let's just use the chance that we have here. 
And I did spam shot, but apparently Cannon did not want to chain. So we can't do anything except for watch as he saves this shot. There's this 10 man initiating against Saru. We might need to keep our distance now. Okay, we're taking one bit of Mixed Max off his Tayo. He was very careful to not let us get to Mixture Max or Tayo, but in the end we have Goenji here. Now we give it back to Saru. Dribble here. We kind of lose the ball, but it's fine because Saru gets it back here. We might just have to take the chance in Omash. And Saru just doesn't want to cooperate. Uh, Kanon doesn't want to cooperate as we should with Saru. And we do get the Mixture Max of Tie Off now. And Kano takes the ball of Tyra here, of Yasha. This is her top name, I believe. But our chance once again gets destroyed by us losing the ball stupidly. That's fine because Saru does take the ball back here. And we take off a zero time here, as our Gamma wants to trap the pass for once. And Kanon doesn't cooperate here. So once again, we can score. Just waits it out, but go and G chimes in this time. it all the way over to Minamisawa. And there's Kanon! And Goenji doesn't shoot it. Goenji had the chance of his life there but didn't shoot it. So the score still is 1-0 at Kak as Kaki gets the ball again. He's shooting with Ryusei Blade, let's just see if we can reflect it right away. 120 really is nothing. Yes, we get our tie on. And we do reflect it. And he reflects it again with Yasha. So we just gotta play ping pong once again. There's Tayo again. Ryusei braiding. And at least stopping his chain, even if we most likely won't score from here. Oh, we uncharged Kanon, that was kinda big. And the first half should be over now, as our Gamma loses the ball last time. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it for the first half. Okay. We have the kickoff. I think our best bet is just to go over Kanon. Um, what we'll definitely do is get the Tonus Candy in. What I also want to do is... Make sure Goenji's charged. Because if Kaki does switch his goalkeeper, we now have two charge chainers. Then we're gonna go all in on body keys. Um, and we're also gonna use Kirino. Placing Kirino centrally. And giving Kirino S plus Gar in the process. So now we just have two options ready. Tenshu and Kinako for the chain starts. A cannon that will charge after one second. A Goenji that is charged and will not lose charge. So let's see how the second half will go. Kaki is still taking his time to prepare. And I am noticing how I'm kind of starting to panic here. Well, the time is up. Match will resume. He boosted his Goenji stat. And he did switch to Tachimukai. Okay. So we anticipated that. That's great. That's actually a really great planning from us here. We get our Tenshu off faster. Now we just shoot. It wouldn't make sense for him here to play Tachimukai Majin the Hando because he has Endo. And we get the chain off 222, it's a goal either way. And with that, it's 1 1 again. It's Maudant, yes. Should have switched in Genius and Predict. it over to Sakuma, over to Saru. What's he doing with... Is he playing Saru as the inside midfielder? Looks like it. Gives it on to Shu now. And I think it's Tachimukai just went out of the goal. So we just shoot, it's a goal! Oh my god! <laughs> and now we're in the lead! Oh my god! <laughs> His touch Mukai decided to switch teams suddenly. And now we have another chance here. Nah, no, all of our chain is uncharged, but he did waste his hero time. Oh 
Oh, and we're playing body keys. And he has Tachimukai Mao the Hunt. So we're just gonna shoot with Kinako here. Fuck, can we get away here? I don't know if we can. Kinako, please! We can't get away here. But it's fine, at least we have two people. Oh, now we have the ball and cannon. We get into a Saru here. Maybe we can no mash from this. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm. I can't no mash with the delay he has. It's because of the distance, most likely. But I just cannot get a get accustomed to how early I have to press. He's going for Arthur again. What's his plan now? Does he was does he want to shoot with the Psych 11 Hado? Well either way we're getting we're getting that cannon on charge in. He's chaining with the level. Uses Mach Wind as the chain start. But Sakuma's there. What a goat. What a goat he is. Let's also make Schmax Kirno here. Make Schmax and Kirino now. Over to Kinako. Great idea by Kaki here. But we can avoid him. And ultimately even get the ball back. So now we have Kinako on the way. We have Kinako on the way. We might just do something here. There's Minamisawa. And there's Cannon! And that's the 3 1. Three, one. One. This is actually looking pretty good. I'm completely taking out a Skoenji. Giving it to Saru here. Oh, that was a good run. That was a good run. Can't defend that. Ah. And he's going over the side of Minamisawa. Onizuka's not charged. Ah, uh, this is the 3 2. Her Goenji is almost charged again. So that's really cool. I would very much like to make use of this. Oh, 
Ah, I can't get the chain off. So we just Kazana drive through him. We're hitting two people, that's good. We might have a bit of space if we can get it to Sakuma here. I'm just searching for a way to start a chain. We're going all the way. And I hope we baited him to go high enough so that our chain passes, which it does. There's Goenji. Go and score it, please. No, gets the block in. Saves here. Now his Sakuma's there. But I don't think Minamisawa's charged dizzy. Or at least Onizuka should be. We just need to get a block in. His Minamisawa's not charged. And that is the end of the match. With 3-2, this time we do beat Kaki no Kaki. GG, very close match. And uh, that's it for today's video, everyone. Thanks very much for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.